I am alarmed at all of the videos I see about zombie deer. This is on zombie deer and other prions to worry about. Prion disease, based on the prion theory, and was only developed approximately 30 to 40 years ago. These are some of the definitely recognized prion diseases that are caused by these protein particles, uh, including CJ disease that humans get. Uh, there's a human prion disease surveillance in Washington State, and we have published on this in Journal of the American Medical Association. It's also published on ResearchGate and Academia.edu. Prions are proteins that are coiled up incorrectly, basically. Three-dimensional structure is abnormal, and they also are infectious. So they infect the uh, next person that comes in contact with the prion. There's evidence of interspecies and even interkingdom transmission. It's very difficult to kill. Fire and radiation are the only or the best ways of destroying the prion. And the prion causes holes in the brain as is seen here. This is CJ disease in humans caused by a prion. And that's why I'm worried about the sudden rise in cases and advise people not to handle diseased animals, especially deer and other wild animals. These are all the cases and states that prion disease has been found in wild animals. Here's a deer with what we would call the staggers. Uh, it obviously has a severe neurological problem. Probably a prion disease without actually uh, dissecting the animal and finding out, uh, but it will probably soon die and hopefully be available for necropsy uh, to make a diagnosis. Uh, this animal obviously uh, is very confused, uh, ataxic, major neurological problems. Uh, this whole series of deer will show you the saddening exponential increase in prion disease in the wild uh, deer. This uh, mother deer just keeps wandering around in circles. Uh, she's not aware of her babies. Uh, she's ataxic. She has neurological deficit. She cannot raise her neck up properly. She has trouble walking. She's taking high steps. Uh, here's another zombie deer that just frothing at the mouth, it's thirsty, uh, it's got wasting, its ribs are visible, and it just stares like a zombie. So this is uh, probably zombie deer disease caused by a prion, most probably, uh, although not definitely without a necropsy. Some of these uh, deer could also have other diseases such as rabies or carcinoma. Uh, but these are all presented as a major neurological manifestation of what is probably a prion disease. And chronic wasting disease, as it's called in uh, deer and uh, other of the deer-like animals. This one obviously confused, neurological problems, ataxics running around in circles, doesn't know what to do. Uh, this deer keeps running around in circles, trying to get its neck back. Obviously not healthy. So please stay away from these animals. These actually could potentially be contagious. Uh, prions have been transmitted from other animals. 
not yet specifically deer diagnosed, but because it takes a long period of time to actually develop the disease after contracting it and showing signs and symptoms, uh, sometimes the exposure is not absolutely apparent. Obviously another neuro neurological problem, uh, both of these deers are staggering. Again, we call the staggers. These deer were obviously ill. They're probably shedding prions in all body fluids and secretions. Prions can last for years. It may not be possible to tell if an animal who appears healthy has prion disease uh, because the testing is not available. Until then, it's advisable uh, not to kill and eat, uh, especially these animals, but we don't know which animals actually have the prion disease yet. And I would not let your pets near these as they can probably catch it. They're sniffing around, uh, absorbing secretions and prions from the ground. Uh, again, cooking the food does not kill the prions. So you kill what looks like a healthy looking deer, you eat it, you could potentially end up with prions. Okay, thank you for your support. Please subscribe to my channel, Gary Ordog. And please stay safe, have a good day, and have a good life.